Hi, I'm Steve with Gator Gill. And today we're going to show you how to float your Gator Gill. This is just one of the ways. But we've had a lot of people asking, how, what's a great way to, to float my 12-volt system? Well, this right here is a, uh, a wow we picked up from uh, Sam's Club. Uh, I think it's about 129 bucks. It has um, three different air chambers in it. It has a side wall. And it's made out of vinyl. It's not uh, that thin plastic. So chances are you're not going to lose your equipment to you know, be able to handle in the, uh, in the waves and stuff. Um, we're going to show you a little bit how we set ours up today. We took a little tub that we picked up from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and we put our gator gill inside. We have our 12 volt battery, we have our compressor system, and we made a special conversion just for the gator gill so we can have the lines. That's the beauty about gator gill. It's so universal. You can make these lines any way, any shape or form that you need to, and it's not that hard. They're very, very user friendly. So what we're gonna do is I'll show you how we did it. Go ahead and snap our lines in. They're gonna pop in. And we're gonna go ahead and put our regulators on. Now this is the one that comes with the uh, Gator Gill system. It's a Cressy Sub-X and it's got adjustable airflow on the top. Um, Teresa likes to use the little pink version, which is a little bit more stylish and it also has the adjustable airflow on it also made by Cressy. Uh, either one will work as long as the second stage regulator. We'll go ahead and tie them in. Make sure to put our safety tethers on. Like so. Put these together here. Alright. Then we're going to do is we're actually going to be able to put a cover on this one here. Give it a little bit of air because he's have to breathe air because you have an air inlet that's on the back side here. So make sure that the gator can breathe. And this will keep it out of the, the salt and the, uh, the weather. And also in case it rains real hard or something like that while you're out. And you won't know that while you're diving. Hopefully you'll be out of that kind of weather and see that coming ahead of time. But anyways, we'll put these little clips on like this. we got little Velcros that we cut off on here. Made a real nice hold on here. And then... Uh, we left our dive flag today, but we went and made one, took our spear gun, and we can slide it in the corner here and pretty much have it where you now have a dive flag. What we'll do is we'll set this box, the wow, and we'll float it and we'll show you how it works. Thank you. 